Figures recently announced show that around 2.57 million people in Britain are unemployed. With that in mind, places like this, Winchester's Job Centre, will see increased numbers in the up-and-coming months, especially as the demand to provide a fruitful Christmas closes in. The unemployment rate has increased by 8.1%, leaving an additional 114,000 people out of work in Britain. Howard Archer, Chief UK Economist at RAS Global Insight, stated, A lot of young people who are unemployed now will still be unemployed next summer when the next group of graduates and school leavers will arrive. We spoke to a young job seeker to find out what her experience was like trying to find work. I did, I was close to starting a new job, but the um, shop actually like shut due to the recession before I was able to start. So they did like send me a letter and explain reasons why and stuff. Um, but apart from that, people have just said they haven't got any vacancies. The unemployment rating is at a record high of 991,000 between people aged 16 and 24, and there is a jobless rate of 21.3%. Also, part-time jobs are at a record low, down by 174,000. But what effect has this had on local businesses? Not for us, anyway. I'm getting more people apply for me now than I ever have. I'm getting, cause, like, in, a, in about a week, I might have like, 40 applicants apply for me which is massively compared to what I was getting when it was only 20, maybe 20 maximum. Uh, we've got plenty of applications coming in for each job, so uh, uh, that is not a problem. We don't have a high turnover, so we don't actually have a lot of um, recruitment, uh, but when we do recruit, recruit for that role, and then we get a lot of applicants coming through online. Although the number of people applying for jobs has increased, the amount of jobs available has decreased. That may not even be the worst of it. Experts say that joblessness will rise well into next year as the Eurozone crisis continues to affect Britain's economic growth. The sharp hike in tuition fees next autumn may also push even more young people into finding work rather than applying for a place at university. There's a lot of stuff that's out there that people don't know about, I think. It's a lot more, I think there's a big thing about awareness. So like here at the university, they have like a job shop where um, graduates are still like they're they're free to get, go and get sort of advice and stuff. So and not a lot of people know that. Um, in terms of nationwide, I think it's tough. Like there's there's literally there's no jobs out there. So it's just down to people's determination to keep on trying. Um, it's an issue that the government need to address. The coalition government at the moment is not addressing them as they should. Um, raising tuition fees to one is not going to help unemployment in fact it's going to it's going to it's going to be a catalyst for even more unemployment with less people going into uh, graduate uh, becoming graduates because less people are going to university that means that uh, skilled work and work that you need a qualification for are not going to be filled which is also going to have an effect on the economy as well david cameron recently announced his plans to tackle unemployment that is why we have the work programme, which is the biggest back-to-work programme since the 1930s that's going to help two and a half million people. That is why we have welfare reform, to make sure it pays for people always to be in work. That is why we're reforming our schools, including raising the participation age to 18, so we end the scandal of 16 and 17-year-olds left on the dole. And that is why we have a record number of apprenticeships, 360,000 this year. The government have made some effort to address the problem. In May, David Cameron and Nick Clegg put both their names to a £60 million package in order to create 250,000 apprenticeships and 100,000 work placements in the next two years. But will such efforts have any effect on the current unemployment crisis?